Hello. <laughs> YouTube we've got a box opening today a very vague box opening um, it's, you know what it's gonna be there don't you it's gonna be something alcoholic obviously because I don't seem to review much more than alcohol so here is my box with some alcohol in it but what is in it I hear you say what's in the box to be fair, I'm, I'm doing this video and uh, to be fair I think I'd rather be asleep on the sofa to be honest had football yesterday, got absolutely busted in my ribs by some tit, and um, that hurts. It hurts to breathe, if I'm being honest with you. Yes, I know, man up. And secondly, just been out for lunch with Mrs. Jiggs, and I'm just full as well. And also, when you're full, you want to sleep, but you also have to breathe in more deeper just to get you through, and it's making it hurt more. But anyway, I'm still going to fill my body up with some more stuff. It's liquid, it's fine, isn't it? So. Let's open this up. It's quite a big old box. I actually had to go and collect this from the neighbours this morning because they come knocking at well, the card said nine o'clock and I get up at five most days, so a laying today was needed. We have a piece of paper with 10% off your next purchase, even though they sent me an email saying I'll get 20% off, so I think I know which one I'll use. Right then. I'm, I'm here still. This is my middle area. It's a big ass box. Box on the floor. Oh, well that's a bit rubbish because it's got paper inside the box as well. So here is the green box. I'm not sure if you can read what's on there. We just uh, get the con the, not the contents out. Let's just try and get the. Uh, this out. Now I can turn and reveal. So I had mentioned before that I wanted to try this in the watermelon flavour. So that is what we have in here today. We have the AU Vodka Watermelon. Um, so I thought I'd open the box on here and give a little review and obviously the contents inside. So there is a, a 70cl bottle of the Watermelon Vodka goodness or badness, I haven't tried it yet. Two custom glasses and a decanter. Um, yeah. So this comes as a, as a box. I, mean, I thought it's pretty good value. Actually, I think it was fifty nine ninety nine. And then you get the the decanter and the um, glasses in it and a bottle. Because I think the bottles are around about the thirty five pound mark. So you know, add another twenty five to that for them. Didn't think it was too bad. So yes, I'm assuming that all different ones come in different colour boxes. If you get grape, you get a purple box, I guess. But yeah. Anyway, so we have a very scuffed box. Oh, this is not good, is it? Extremely scuffed. Oh no, it's not scuffed. The person who handled it had dirty hands. Gross. So yes, green watermelon. Not the way about to add green, like, obviously. Top colour of the outside of watermelon is, is it? I suppose they could put red, because the middle of it's red. So we've got our bottle there. We have got our decanter. So yeah, there's that. I've got the AU logo on the front and a couple of glasses. Quite like the shape of these. I will use one of these, but I'm probably gonna give it a wash first. So we cut two of them glasses. And now obviously a bin full of recycling. Dispose of this because I don't think I need more boxes. Let's go and wash a glass up. Oh, not dry to perfection, but so I will say these do feel like good quality. It's good thick glass, it's got a nice gold rim around the edge and the logo. And obviously, we'll see how they fare 
has been washed a few times, but it's a good, it's a good solid bit of glass, not so thin, cheap shit. So that feels pretty good. Now let's do some drinking. I'll get into the goddamn thing. So yeah, obvious little normal rundown I do. I had the fruit punch, it was awful. Had the red cherry, which I was a bit more impressed with, and now I'm going to this watermelon. Um, I'm a big fan of watermelon, so hopefully it'll be nice. I believe this one is, as I said, it's green, so I believe this is going to be bright green. Yeah, bloody hell. It's actually got a bit of like a blue tinge to it, actually. It's like a bluey green sort of colour. Yeah, like aquamarine sort of, well that might be a bit blue aquamarine, but yeah, it's got an emerald. Emerald is, emerald's the token, that's the one I was going for. Now, I'm not getting a single nosing of watermelon at all in the nose. That literally just smells like alcohol, just skip the ethanol smell. Yeah. Like you doesn't smell a fruit at all or fake fruit whatever you want to say so I'll just, just, just straight into taste it, I guess this is how much that holds anyway but it tastes like it mm. it's actually got a bit of a mintiness to it as well Definitely. It's got that, it's got that watermelon sweet taste. Obviously it doesn't taste like a watermelon, but it tastes like watermelon sweets, as a lot of these things do. But there's a slight minty note to it as well. Mmm. I know what it is. I've, uh, I think it was Aquafresh. They brought out a watermelon toothpaste and that is what it tastes like. Yeah, it tastes like watermelon toothpaste. I like brushing my teeth, so it's not it's not a bad thing. I actually brought that toothpaste because I do like a bit of fruity toothpaste every now and then. So the kid in the kid in me. But yeah, yeah, it's all right. It's not as good as the red cherry. I think if it was more straight watermelon, I think it'd be better. But because it's got that minty note to it. It's a bit, not odd, just not what you're expecting. Mm. It's to be fair, it's getting minty anymore. You know when you have, um, I've said this before about um, drinks, to get aftershock, which we drunk as shots when we were young, in the, younger in the old days. One of them, I'm not sure if it's the blue one or the green one, that was a bit like a toothpaste-y, mouthwash -y kind of taste. And this is very reminiscent of that. And I'm a little disappointed actually, because I did think it would be a bit more, after having the cherry one, I did think it'd be a bit more um, watermelon-y than this. But um, yeah. That. I do feel like I'm going to drink this and turn into the Incredible Hulk though. It definitely looks like some sort of serum of some sort that's going to transform my body into something, into a Hulk rather than a 40 year old dad bod. There you go. Anyway. I'll, I'll tell you what I'll do first. I might try some with some Pepsi. Because obviously these drinks, I think, in my personal opinion, are very aimed towards the mixery kind of drinking style. So I'm gonna put some Pepsi in and see how that goes. Oh, it's good that this you can win Euro women's Euro tickets. Brilliant. I think that's already been done. And we won. Lear Williamson, captain England! of the European champions. I'm not gonna lie, as that was 
mid point of the glass, the colour was vile. Right, cheers. Mmm, that is actually better with Pepsi. It's, it's made it more melony. Not the girl melony, just melon e. Yeah. Mm, I think I prefer that with Pepsi. Which proves my point right, that I think this is definitely a drink for mixing. Mm. Quite like that. I'll probably be on that for the rest of the day. It definitely, it's definitely got more of a melon taste to it now. It's got the Pepsis with it. How weird. There you go. Well, then. I'll leave that there. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, leave a comment, hit the bell, all that malarkey. Uh, I've got a Patreon. It's on the website. F is down. Down below. Go check that out. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you all on the next Jigs Reviews. Ta-ra!